Next, it was his most gruelling challenge to date, and all in the name of highlighting the crisis facing our oceans. And this afternoon, after 49 days, Lewis Pugh completed his 330-mile swim. Now, he's travelled the length of the English Channel since setting off from Land's End on the 12th of July. And on his way, he's been documenting the amount of plastic waste that ends up in our seas. Louisa Pilbeam was in Dover to meet him at the finish line. If he was exhausted today, Lewis Pugh didn't look it as he stepped onto the beach at Dover, having swum into the history books. He ploughed through English waters for a total of 100 hours, burning 98,000 calories as the sun rose and set on each day of swimming the length of the English Channel. So, you know, when you start something out like this, which nobody has, has ever successfully done, swimming in just a, you know, a speedo cap and goggles, you're not sure you're going to make it. But I was uh, prepared to fail big. He set out from Land's End in Cornwall on the 12th of July. Over the next 49 days, he swam nearly 330 miles along the English coastline all the way to Dover, where he finished today. The UN's patron of the seas, Lewis, set out on this challenge to help protect British waters. Our ocean's in crisis, absolute crisis. Uh, I've been swimming now for, for 49 days and I've been stunned by what I haven't seen. It's just so little wildlife. It's almost like we've taken out all the fish and thrown in the plastic and we now need to, to sort that issue out very, very quickly. In preparation for the swim, Lewis gained three stone in weight for insulation against the cold water and as a measure against the estimated 10,000 calories he would burn each day. People are fascinated by this fact that you, um, you put on weight and yeah. you had three different types of speedos, is that right? Well, I started on a 36, I went to a 34, I tried to get into a 32 and I wasn't successful so I went back up to a 34. <laughs> Quite a sort of a radical diet uh, technique. Despite today's heavy rain, crowds turned out to support Lewis. We yeah. went and touched the water, so it's not that cold as out, out in the open. So it's quite, it's quite warm in there, but when you get out, it'll be freezing cold. I just think he's an amazing man, and what he's doing for the oceans and to clean up our seas and to bring awareness to it is just phenomenal. Thank heavens for people like Lewis. When we heard Lewis was coming here to swim the length of the channel, it was a great opportunity to come down and get involved and support a great cause and a great uh, sporting achievement as well. And what better prize at the end of a world first, a kiss from your wife and a dry towel. Lewis now wants as warm a reception from the governments of the world when it comes to protecting our seas. Louisa Pilbeam, 5 News, Dover.